Good morning. For this meditation today, I wanted to talk about a saying that I've heard throughout my life and missed opportunities. The saying is simple, to be a steward of God's word. Think on that phrase a little bit. What does that mean to you? You know, as we close out this month and move steadily away from Easter, I think about that phrase, to be a steward of God's word. To me, it hurts because I don't do it enough, and I know it. It hits back on how we as Christians should outwardly proclaim the gospel, Jesus as our Savior, and how lucky we are to be Christians, to be saved by Christ and welcome to God's kingdom when the time is upon us. Do you proclaim God's word, or do you miss those opportunities and fail, like I've done many times? Like many of you, I outwardly, I don't project myself always as a believer of Christ, and that in itself can lead me and you to miss the opportunities to spread God's word. I can't help but to think about how different I am from Jesus. He not only lives his life for God, but he gave it up for us. His whole life was devoted to spreading the word of our Father. How different are we? I've seen opportunities to step up and say something, and I stayed silent. And I can't help but think that Jesus would have done the complete opposite and probably would have proclaimed for days. You know, we as Christians, we rejoice at the resurrection. We celebrate Jesus leaving the tomb and joining the Father. But you have to think about what led up to that. Jesus' actions and his final words. You know, the Bible says in John 19.30, when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and he gave up his spirit. In Mark 15.37, we read, with a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. I would assume that that loud cry was probably those actual words that John recorded. It is finished. He spoke it out loud. He declared it for all to hear. He uttered a loud cry to his father in heaven for the whole world to know. Christ's work on the cross was complete. It was done, accomplished. Our debts were paid in full. Our sins paid in full. He definitely was not silent. He didn't miss an opportunity. There's no doubt that Jesus knew what his last words needed to be here in this life. He knew the power those final words would have for generations. He had great purpose in them. Our job is to spread that word with the same fervor. Jesus became the final and ultimate sacrifice for our sin, not by being silent, but by spreading God's word. And I ask you to join me and try to do the same. Let us pray. Dear Father, I want to thank you for you giving up your son for us. Lord, I, I pray that you help us all be better stewards of your word. And I hope that you will help us all declare to the world what they need to hear, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes through him without him.